Round one, we shall go first. Yes, this is actually a very good hand for us because it has our one ramp spell in it. And a Skyfisher and a Sensor Splicer is not bad either. So we'll go Guildgate into Plains Signet. And and then I guess we're still not quite at Splicer, but we can be patient. Okay, so in Ranger for some fixing. Forbidden Alchemy. All right, well, this is actually it's a pretty reasonable time to draw it. So we'll play our land and pass. I guess I want to focus on white because I have multiple white spells. We'll take our one. Attended Knight, okay. So probably just a token deck, maybe? Play the Forbidden. And we'll take the Restoration Angel. Because it's a powerful, powerful card. All right, now we're going to play the Sensor Splicer and set up a nice Restoration Angel play here. There's a Pit Keeper. We already have two creatures now, which is good. So let's play our white mana. Let's go Signet. Get our dude and pass. So next turn we can blink Sensor Splicer, get another thing. And then we can... Core Skyfisher and return it at some point as well, which is cool. So let's tap here, play our land. So we have six mana. So we can play the Pit Keeper just to get another creature out there and make use of mana. We can be patient with it. We can't flashback this yet. We're going to be playing the Restoration Angel. We can't actually Skyfisher bounce the Splicer yet, because then we can't blink it with Restoration Angel. So, like I said, this might be just an opportunity to play Pit Keeper. We lose out on an Enter the Battlefield trigger right away. I think we're going to be patient with it, actually. So we'll play Restoration Angel. Oops, let's do this different. We'll go, this actually doesn't matter. I'm just, so we'll play Angel. Blink the Splicer. Get some value, block the two, three. Kill the 2 3. And Mist Raven comes out. Okay. Bouncing uh, Golem, which does make sense. Okay. Okay. So we can attack with Resto. Mm, can I attack with a 3 3 2? I guess we can, right? Why not? Vigilance is good. All right, they take it. Could I have attacked last turn? Maybe I could have. Maybe I should have. Um, so we'll play, because I forgot about the Vigilance. So I probably missed out on an attack there. But we'll play the Skyfisher. And then we bounce the Splicer. Could actually, I guess we could actually bounce Resto, right? Yeah. 
That probably makes more sense. Unless they have counter spells. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to do Splicer instead. It's not like Restoration Angel would be a surprise then. And it's not like we need it as a blocker because we already have the Sky Fisher now. So let's just block the Splicer and replay it. While they're tapped out, not worry about counter spells. Keep our Restoration Angel on the battlefield. Get another 3-3. Do the same thing, basically. Makes worse use of mana, but I don't have to worry about Restoration Angel resolving. And now we're at Forbidden Alchemy flashback point two, which is good. So the spider keeps the Restoration Angel at bay, but we're still in pretty good shape here. I can still attack with both of my flyers as well. There's a Miss Meadow Witch. Well, there's some good shenanigans. So we'll play the witch. And then we can start exiling Sensor Splicer or Resto. We can blink some stuff, which is cool. So we're going to be on the offensive here. We're going to attack with Resto. We're going to attack with Skyfisher and two Golems. Because we are unafraid of stuff going to the graveyard. And this is actually fine too. We're still pushing damage through, which is why this is good. So we're going to take out their f flyers. This is fine too. This is fine. And remember, we can actually blink. We can do some stuff here. We can blink their attended, or the Sylvan Ranger to kill their attended knight. They get to ramp again, but we probably just trade and blink our own sensor splicer. We're getting damage through. Um, we're getting more dudes. So we're just going to let this happen. We're kind of in the good spot in this game here. So we'll pass. So, ooh, Lingering Soul is a good one. Okay. So, oops, I screwed up, actually. I was supposed to do it before the end of the turn, so now i got to wait an extra turn. I screwed that up a little bit. That's all right. That's all right. So we can... Do some blinking now, I guess. Um, I think we'll just be patient then. So we'll have that come back. How much mana do I have? Four, five, six, we have eight. So I'm, I'm going to blink the splicer. Well, am I going to... How does this I kind of am out of sync a little bit now because I missed that? Because it's end of turn. Mm. We let that happen. Then I could blink it again, but then it won't come back until the end of my opponent's turn. And then it comes back and then I blink it again. I guess that's good. Maybe I just start momentary blinking now. Although, I don't know if that's necessary now either. I could just not have to do value. I mean, we're going infinite with Witch, so we have, we've got the late game going for us here, which is good. And I have an emergency use blink if I need it. So this comes back, and then I could 
blink it again, or I could just kill one of their tokens. I'm not sure if that would be better though, so I think we'll just let that and then do this again. Actually, yeah, 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 this is fine. Tap, Grasp of Phantoms, so we can do it to the spider. Put that on top of their library. And then we can start bashing. Okay, so we'll get our dude back, and then we'll pass. Okay, so they draw four. Our healer bringing them back up to four life. And then a talent trooper. So it looks like we win. I just have to remember don't let it go to instep. We just want to do it during their second main. So now we blink this. Oops. Blink it, comes back, get the thing, do the thing, untap. So they have six blockers to our bunch of attackers, I guess, right? So we'll just smash here. They have to not block everything, I guess, but... Hmm. So I guess I could have attacked with everything and killed them, perhaps? Blink Splicer, have it come back. I probably could have killed them, but it's okay. I still think we're in pretty good shape here unless they have a I guess a board wipe. They can't actually. They just kill themselves. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're playing against... I don't know exactly what we're playing against. Not a token deck. It's pro It looks like it's just kind of a good stuff deck. But it's not like great stuff deck. It's just kind of good filler stuff. So... We've got, I feel like we have a more, you know, cogent theme going for our deck, which is good. I did use a lot of time, I admit, but I feel like <sighs> Miss Metal Witch and Signets, they're the bane of my existence. Um, so, I mean, sideboard options are like Sunring Growth. I'm, I'm just talking in general sideboard options, not for this match in particular, but like Kraken Hatchling, I guess if I needed more early game blockers, Bone Spinners, maybe... If, I, if there's some bomb that needs to be dealt with, I could bring in another one. So, in like Night Terrors, I guess for the control decks with like counter spells and stuff, maybe. Or, I don't know, other big things. But this doesn't seem like a match that's bad for us at all. Because our late game is infinite with Miss Meadow Witch and all these blink effects. So, I think our, our late game, mid to late value should overcome... So let's just run it back. Uh, 
so we got the signet again. We're definitely keeping this. And we have all of our... Yeah, this is good. So we've got the momentary blink with the slave driver, which I kind of like too. Our opponent did mulligan. Mm, noble is actually a great draw because now we get to jump from signet to noble. Mm, scavenging ooze. Well, that's quite good against us because of unearthed stuff, but we do have removal for that at some point. It's not like we can't win without it, so it doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. So we'll play the Signet and pass. Okay. Talon Trooper. It only gets bigger with creature cards. So we'll play our Noble here. Talon Trooper is going to keep beating down. Okay. So our opponent's tempoing us pretty effectively here. But Extractor Demon could do a lot of work to bring us back. I guess we don't really have, like, life gain in here, though. That's all right. So we'll play the Noble again. Well, I guess we do have life gain with the, the Noble. I take it back. Uh, we'll play Noble, pass. This at least offers a trade with the Mistraven or the Ooze. All right, so we will do the trade because we gain two life off of it. It lets our opponent's scavenging news get bigger, but it actually doesn't matter because we're kind of banking on this extractor demon doing some serious work for us. So for now, we just need to live. Wing splicer, okay. That's all right. So extractor demon needs to sort of hold down the fort for us, which I would say a 5-5 five -five flyer is pretty good at doing. So we'll play it, and we'll pass. Okay. Explore. Not two explorers, just one. Well, that's cool. Okay. That's cool. Sensor Splicer. So I guess getting 3-3s three with Vigilance is better than getting a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, and we have 7 mana, is that right? Three, yeah, we do. So let's just play the Sensor Splicer. But then I guess we only have... Oh, I should play the Planes. Whoops. That was a bit of a mistake. Hmm. So I guess for that reason I could play the Slave Driver instead. better use of mana. And then we'll pass. So they're not using the ooze, though, which is strange. Ooze is pretty awesome against this, though, with Quad Pit Keeper. That kind of hurts our plan a little bit. No plays, okay. What do we got to deal with now? Okay, they're just drawing. So they're playing around a counter spell as well, I imagine. All right, so let's play the white mana this time. Um, I guess, I mean, we can attack with the slave driver they could block with a golem and a talon trooper, but mm, yeah, let's just be patient. They do have a lot. Well, they don't even have that many more cards than we do. So we'll do this. Got to play, pay a white rather. Do this. 
play our splicer and then we'll pass so we can leave up the blink protect from removal as well as get some sensor splicer value so ooze happens So I guess we're milling them because our opponent can just eat more. Well, the problem, do I have to mill too? No, you may. Okay, so I don't even have to use Extractor Demon, which is good. Well, now it's to explore. I can be patient with this blink too. I, I kind of don't want to do the blink to tell the truth because our opponent can eat it. So really, we want to be able to do Blink twice in one turn. We can technically do it, because basically, if we do it on the Splicer, if I have full mana and I do it on the Splicer, in response, they can get rid of Blink from my graveyard before the Splicer comes back, right? Okay, well that's actually that's actually kind of nice. So I guess I want to sack the. I guess I want to sack the golem. Do I want to deal with? I think I want to deal with scavenging ooze. So I think we. Because basically. Uh, my creature is going to go to the graveyard, so they're going to be able to ooze it away. They left it up too, so I think we do it to the 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 ooze because it kind of hurts our plan. But I think we sack the golem because they're gonna this way they don't get to gain the life. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, we will mill ourselves here. This lets them eat something, but. Okay, so they get to eat our, I guess, Herbus Protector, which is still okay. All right, kill that, and we'll mill ourselves again, because we're looking for graveyard value. Okay, now we'll pass. Got all the blinks we need. We have the sensor splicer. So now we'll blink our extractor demon so we can block this turn. whenever another creature leaves the battlefield. Good to know. So Skyfisher. Bouncing. Sensor Splicer. Mill ourselves. That's good. Still getting graveyard value. Play the splicer. Get the thing. Pass. So we have blink and grasp of phantoms. So I guess we can grasp their golem if we need to. I've used a lot of time here, but that's all right. They have no cards left. We are in good shape, just sort of being patient. We have three creatures, which is not quite enough yet, but that's all right. So we're going to play land, and I think we're just going to grasp the golem. I guess we don't have to. Let's just be patient.
I have less than 10 minutes, which is relevant, but remember, we have the go infinite option here. Once we get like a Miss Meadow Witch, we have double Forbidden Alchemy, so we've got some stuff to draw. And we can actually win with Extractor Demon at a certain point. We just mill them out. I could sandbag the land, I guess, to like hide information. But I kind of just. Yeah, I mean, if I draw Miss Meadow Witch, I guess it does the same thing anyway. Okay, so one, two, three creatures in the graveyard. So we can smash with, like, basically Slave Driver here. And, yeah, I guess that's it. So we'll attack with our Slave Driver. Remember, whatever dies... We can start milling. We're going to start milling them now. Because Extractor Demon, at this point, can put them away before it, before it puts us away, basically. I mean, this is going to mill six, which is just enormous. Um, so I guess I could just do it to the... Probably kill the higher toughness reach dude. Although, I mean, the golem has flying too, and this, well, this is still fine. So we'll do this, get our thing. So we're going to start milling them, like I said. We're going to mill them for mill, mill, and then we'll pit keeper. And we'll bring back. Restoration Angel, because we want more flyers, and then we'll pass. And then we'll Angel the Splicer, yes, and then we'll mill our opponent. Yes, and then we'll blink our splicer, and then we'll mill our opponent. Yes, and then we'll grasp of phantoms the uh, spider. I think this still triggers Extractor Demon, right? Yeah. And then they're down to four. And then we'll attack with Restoration Angel. Okay. They conceded, so that was cool. Got to really utilize Extractor Demon. This card is crazy. Yeah, this card's crazy in a, in a Blink deck. So um, our deck... Obviously, one in the end. I think our opponent's deck, like I said, didn't really have any sort of, like, coherent theme. It was basically just a bunch of colors with good stuff, right? Like Scavenging Ooze, Guy's Anthem was in there, Boros Reckoner, Wayfaring Temple, some flyers that are... So, it was just, like, a lot of, like, playable stuff, but they didn't have the cool, like, thematic sort of synergies like our deck did, which ultimately gave us the victory in the late game. So that was fun. We'll see you in round two.